Hello, this is Michael Saltzman, and I am the Digital Director at Blue Sky Bio. In this training tutorial, I'd like to demonstrate the functionality of creating an indirect bonding tray in the Blue Sky Plan software. We've had this functionality in the software for quite some time. The functionality that we've had was based on aligning the brackets to the wire, meaning that the brackets are placed perpendicular to the wire. We've recently added a new process flow for aligned to teeth that allows the brackets to be aligned based on the positioning of the teeth, meaning that the back of the bracket will be placed as flush as possible to the tooth, the mesial distal positioning will be based on the middle of the tooth, and the offset from the incisal edge of the tooth will be based on settings in properties. And if we go ahead and click on orthodontics, we could see that we have the option for aligners or indirect bonding tray. When we click on indirect bonding tray, we could see the two process flows align brackets to teeth and align brackets to wire. We do offer a fantastic auto bracket full mouth package via labpronto.com. So you could go to labpronto.com if you like and you could have everything done for you. You'll be receiving the indirect bonding tray with the brackets, with the wires, everything that you need. It includes the planning, it includes all the relevant parts and you can see that the process is acquiring the scan, the order form. You'll get the plan for approval if you like to review it and approve it. And then you get back the IBT together with the brackets, the brackets placed into the IBT and everything that you need. And the order form on Lab Pronto, here it is, super simple. We selected the relevant service, you put in the patient identifier, attach the relevant files, and you're good to go. Back to the software, of course, if you like, you can do everything on your own in the software. We're going to select align brackets to teeth, import models, and we'll go through the process flow quickly. Navigate to the relevant data set. As usual, we have the horizontal buttons on the top. We can navigate via the buttons or via the library to get to the relevant data set. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to do one arch. We have enough videos showing, demonstrating how to do the digital tooth setup. So for this purpose and for this video, I'm just going to import the one arch. I select it with my left mouse button and click OK. Click on Mandible. Enter the patient identifier. And continue to draw alignment. If we, were, if we were importing an opposing arch and doing a two-jaw case, you just click Import Opposing Arch and then continue through the process. I'm going to mark each tooth as we go around the arch using my left mouse button. I'm holding down the Shift key and placing two dots on each tooth. To mark a missing tooth, instead of left clicking, you right click once on the buckle side between the teeth to indicate that the tooth is missing, and then continue holding down the shift key and left clicking with the mouse button. To move the model, I'm holding down the wheel of, of my mouse as if it was a button and just grabbing and dragging. Continuing with the other side of the arch, Again, missing tooth, right click instead of left click while holding down the shift key to mark that the tooth is missing. Finish teeth marking, close model, and then continue to teeth segmentation. The software does the automatic teeth segmentation and we can do any modifications or fine tuning as necessary. Continue to model trimming. The software automatically proposes a model trim curve to clean up the model and remove any excess material. We can modify that if necessary by grabbing and dragging any of the nodes and then clicking continue to add brackets. 
The software automatically brings up the add new bracket screen. We have a library here that is a growing library. You could select the relevant system. If you have another bracket system that you're using, just uh, tell the company that they should be in touch with us, plan at blueskybio.com. Brackets are not exportable from the software, so there's no concern about any privacy in terms of the brackets STL files. They're just used to design the IBT, indirect bonding trace. If you would like to not add brackets to all of the highlighted teeth, you could hold down the shift key, use your left mouse button to unselect or unhighlight. Once you've selected the relevant teeth for which to add the brackets, simply click add and the software will add the brackets to the relevant teeth. If you mouse over a particular bracket, you have a widget that shows up. You can use the widget if you like to fine tune the placement of the bracket on the tooth. You can also see that the measurements in all directions appear as well. So you can know that as you move the bracket, you could see the distance in any direction. If you go to Tools Preferences, you can see the default height of the bracket on the relevant tooth from the incisal edge of the tooth. You could just scroll and see the upper and the lower. And if you, for whatever reason, detach the bracket from the tooth and you just to like to realign it to the tooth, you could right click and choose snap to tooth. With the align bracket to tooth technique, the bracket is placed as flush as possible onto the surface of the tooth. Once you have finalized the bracket placement on the teeth, you could click continue to prepare IBT. The software now prompts you to draw the curve similar to drawing the surgical guide curve if you're familiar. You're just going to hold down the shift key and when you would like to draw, you just drag with your left mouse button. When you want to rotate the model and temporarily stop drawing, then you could just let go of the shift key and with your left mouse button, rotate and then once again, continue drawing by holding down shift and drawing with your left mouse button. When you continue drawing, you want to leave a little bit of space after the dot that you previously placed and the software will connect that. Go around the arch. and then return to the starting point. And now you're able to fine tune the placement of any of the nodes, the shape of the curve. If there's a portion of the curve that you would like to move, then just hold down shift and drag and the software will adjust that automatically. And once you finalize the position of the curve, you could just click continue to export. The software has now created the IBT. We could emboss or engrave text onto the IBT similar to how we do it onto a model or an aligner. Just position the IBT accordingly behind the text. Here we could hide or show the label. Here we could change the text that's being engraved. Once we're happy with the text and the placement, we could choose emboss or engrave, and we could also choose apply on the model. Or in our situation, we're gonna apply onto the IBT and simply click apply. Clicking export, we could select if we would like to export the model and or the indirect bonding tray. As I mentioned previously, the brackets will not be exported. Even if you have models selected, the brackets will not be exported. You'll have the model without the brackets and you'll have the IBT. Let's click export. It's confirming if we want to add a horizontal base for printing and if we want to emboss or engrave text. Let's on the desktop make a new folder called the IBT export. And we can now see that the software has exported the model and the IBT.